Hey Aquarius. So I was getting two messages for you guys. One, um, there's going to be an opportunity coming in for you that is amazing. It feels like kind of like opportunity of a lifetime or just like an opportunity that you've been waiting for, but it is going to take, I was getting just a sense of being overwhelmed, but kind of in a good way. Like it's, it's going to take a lot of your time and a lot of your dedication, but like the outcome or the pay or whatever it is this opportunity is bringing to you um, is going to be well well worth it also the second upper or the second opportunity the second um message i was getting was there's a fire sign or a cancer i was getting those signs very specifically um that is very jealous of you and i do feel that you are going to end up ending whatever it is a friendship a um, relationship whatever because of this also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com where I have different options of different readings you can purchase. I do want to give a thank you to everyone who has joined my Patreon, also to everyone who has subscribed to my second channel. The links to those will be down below. What is the energy surrounding Aquarius? What is the energy surrounding Aquarius? Okay, so we have the Temperance card here. Some of you guys can be dealing with the Sagittarius, but this is healing. Um, I definitely feel this is forward movement as well. Also, when I think of Temperance, it makes me think of an angel. Like, I do feel like you're very much so being protected from negative energies. And I don't know why, but they almost told me negative spirits there. So I don't know if some of you guys are dealing with some um, paranormal type of stuff, but I do feel that you are very protected by um, your spiritual team. So if you are dealing with something like that, do know that you're okay and you don't have anything to worry about. Um, five of Swords energy. Somebody does not have good intentions. Why is the Five of Swords here? And I do feel like this person um, holds back. Maybe they're a little bit fake about how they truly feel towards you. Why is the Five of Swords energy here? Hmm. I'm kind of getting all of oh, though. Why I'm getting so much drama today. Usually at Aquarius readings, there is, there is no drama. But today I'm getting a little bit of drama. Um, I do feel like somebody may be talking a little bit of shit, but I kind of feel it's it's out of jealousy. Honestly, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I'm kind of feeling that this is just more your energy, um, being very focused on your stability, more focused on your bag. We do have the Ace of Pentacles energy coming out. Um, so I definitely do feel a lot of you are just very focused on adding new streams of income to your life or even possibly changing your whole career, everything all together. So regardless of this drama, I don't see you guys being very focused on early advice is absolutely not to be focused on it whatsoever what is the energy surrounding Aquarius Ooh, okay so we have the Empress card energy of course the Empress she can represent pregnancy so you guys may be um, expecting but I also just noticing this 111 at the top maybe a lot of you guys are saying 111 1111 uh, that's just the universe telling you that your manifestations are coming in and the universe um, angels spirit whoever um, really is listening to what you want so I don't know if you do a lot of manifestation work or you're just like kind of a very um, go with the flow type of person listen to your intuition your higher self type of person but these manifestations are coming in for you um, because of the actions that you do take so I also feel the empress this could be the start of a business um, you know some people call like their business their baby or you know they've gave birth to that so I do feel like some of you guys may be um, getting into that or the advice is absolutely to do so so we do have the king of cups and the eight of pentacles this makes me feel like whatever your skill or your craft is um or talent even people need it i do feel like you make people feel good when you do whatever it is that you do maybe you're a dancer maybe you're a comedian or just like whatever um but people really need what you put out to the world so do be aware of that um and i do feel like just naturally success will follow you when you start whatever this is naturally the success this money is going to come your way because so many people are in need of whatever it is that you provide even if it's a product or something a lot of people even if it doesn't seem like it maybe you're like oh this is stupid you know whatever um, a lot of people actually need what you give so we do have the star card energy of course this is your energy uh, when i think of the star makes me think of healing forward movement better days just overall happiness also of course it can represent fame so some of you guys maybe do um maybe some of you guys are famous or maybe you do something online or something like that or this is going to be something that you do attract in the future okay 
So we do have the Hanged Man, the Three of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so I'm kind of feeling that somebody has very much so held their energy back. The Three of Cups, this can represent a celebration, also a reconciliation as well. Um, somebody wants to reconcile with you. It could be a Pisces, it could be this Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, for some reason, they've been holding back or they're like scared to come forward or maybe they feel like they can't come forward. Why is the Hanged Man energy here? Okay, yeah, two of wands and the ten of pentacles. All right, so, yeah, I'm kind of feeling that somebody, and I feel like this is someone you already know, is admiring you, admiring you from afar. Um, it's like, this person is under the impression that you are, like, doing great, and maybe you are, uh, but doing great, ten of pentacles, sitting on all your money, whatever, and it's like this person is a little bit intimidated to come reconcile with you or to whatever, I almost feel that somebody maybe wishes they would have stuck with you or something like that. We could be talking about a love situation here. And even if you guys are like not balling like this, I feel that people are under the impression that you are. So I just feel like this person in particular is very intimidated by that. So if you're wondering, like even if you have thought about this person, because I do feel like this is somebody that maybe you have thought about um, I feel they want to reach out to you. Do know they want to reach out to you, but they can't, or they feel like they can't. Could be a cancer. What is the energy surrounding Aquarius? Okay. Queen of Wands energy, the Sun card, and the Three of Swords. All right, so some of you guys may be dealing with a Leo, or we're dealing with a Leo. Um, I definitely do feel this person, I mean, if the Three of Swords is their energy, they may not be going through the best um, time right now. What is the Three of Swords here? Maybe they feel upset about something that maybe happened with you. Ooh, okay, yeah, it definitely could be an ex-love situation. Um, I almost feel that somebody, yeah, someone from your past didn't see your worth. Six of Cups in the, in the Justice card. This person did not see your worth whatsoever. And it's like, I feel that they are feeling a little bit of regret for not seeing your worth um, back then. So Or Libra justice energy mostly in gemini as well but whoever it is um yeah somebody from the past didn't see your worth and it could be that person that is scared to maybe come forward and talk to you now because i they realize their fault in a situation so we do have the ten of wands energy here and the nine of swords something is going to be extra or something maybe already a little bit stressful mentally and physically um, I will clarify to see maybe what that is. I do feel like some of you are already going through whatever this stress is, or maybe some of, ooh, for some of you it's a relationship. Okay. Why is the Ten of Wands energy here? The Nine of Swords. Okay. Some of you, it's your job. I also feel that, okay, I'm getting two things. Some of you, your job is very stressful. Um, or I almost feel like even mentally stressful, and maybe some of you just really don't like what it is that you're doing, and that could be kind of where that fuel um, that motivation comes in to kind of pursue whatever this is, your talent, your skill. Um, I do feel like that's where that could be coming from because maybe you absolutely just hate what you're doing right now. Also, I do feel for some of you, this is a relationship um, or situationship that you're dealing with. Uh, that's a little bit... I feel like I'm just noticing this little owl in this card. I don't usually notice that. Um, this situation that you're dealing with, with this person... This is a lesson. So do know that if you are dealing with a toxic situation with someone, uh, maybe you're dealing with their issues, um, whatever. Taurus was getting a lot of these cards. Maybe some of you have a strong Taurus in your chart or you are dealing with the Taurus. Um, but yeah, this is meant to change. Like this whole relationship shit, if you are dealing with some, like a toxic type of situation, that is meant to change and it's meant to, it's, I feel like they're telling me wise, like they're, it's meant to, it's meant to make you wise about a situation um, or to learn from this situation. So I do feel a lot of you guys may be moving on from whatever this is because it just seems, it's, yeah, it seems like it's time to let it go. Ten of Wands energy. Ooh, the Ten of Swords just showed itself to me too. Ten of Wands energy. It's time for this to end. It's time for you to drop those fucking wands, drop this person and move forward because I feel like that is not getting any better, so... What is the energy surrounding Aquarius? Ooh, okay. Seven of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Some of you guys are resisting change. I do feel like advice is to 
try your best to embrace the change and to go ahead and allow yourself to pursue new things and to kind of step out of your comfort zone a little bit. We do have the Nine of Wands here. I'm getting a lot of resistance and I almost feel it could be like, of course, not blaming the people around you, but I do feel like a lot of the people that you surround yourself with or maybe one person in particular you surround yourself with really hold you back or you allow this person to hold you back. So I do feel like advice is to pretty much stop doing that to yourself. If you do have someone that you need to distance yourself from to put a wall up with this person, advice is to absolutely do it because I don't know. It seems like this person's energy holds you back some way, somehow, and they can really only hold us back if we let them. So I do feel like advice is to cut that person off. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Cut this motherfucker off. So I'm going to pull some advice cards from a different deck. I'm going to the advice for Aquarius. What is the advice for Aquarius? Ooh, what the fuck? That is strange. So, in the la in the three videos I've done today, I have got this same advice in all three of them. Judgment card. So I kind of feel like this is a theme. And I know you saw me shuffle those cards. This is weird. But anyway, um, I feel like this is a theme. Right now is a in time time to end when judgment comes out this is a final decision so i do feel like for some of you this could be a relationship it's time to end it for some of you um i do feel like this is time to end a job or to pursue your dreams or like pursue this business now is the time to make that decision it almost seems like now or never the fact that this came out for all the readings i've done today it is now or never to make whatever decision that you need to make that's happening in your life not that everyone's going through the same thing because they're not but whatever situation you're in it is time to do something about it so i do hope that this reading was helpful for you if you would like a personal reading you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day also do go check out my lashes at jayslashes.com thank you so much to everyone who has supported me they do go fast so do place your order soon